All right, guys, here I got a ice sculpture of a pig that I'm about to carve. This is uh, three blocks of ice. So I start off by sketching the design on there with this handmade ice pick that I have. Careful planning is involved just so I can get the guy scale. Once I'm satisfied with the lines, I deepen the lines there with a uh, V gouge. Then I like what I got, got the chainsaw, then I kind of realized that this block is pretty thick, it's about 20 inches. So here I got this uh, homemade Alaskan lumber mill that I've made, that way I can just get in there and cut through all 20 inches. I'm just going to measure because I don't want to cut into the pig, you know? my adjustments, cut right up in there, pull this chunk right out. There we go. Cut these little slabs off. This saves up a lot of time here. I don't know what happened to my video. Kind of lost a lot in there. I'm kind of bummed about that. But uh, anyway, so here I am taking the chainsaw and just shaping the guy out. Kind of doing all the curves and a lot of uh, rough cutting right here with the chainsaw. I've had this baby for about 10 years now. Bigger little electric saw. Just get in there, try to redefine some legs. Since this guy is so heavy, can't have it really standing on all four legs because I gotta transport this guy, right? It's probably about. Seven, eight hundred pounds right now. Maybe a little more, maybe about a thousand. Alright, so now what I'm using is just an angle grinder here. And uh, I have this uh, nail pad that I've made. Um, so I'll be showing you what it looks like soon, but it's just a pad that I put a lot of nails in it. And this thing is aggressive. Um, so this is what it looks like just a bunch of little carpet nails in there. And then I'll swap that out, and then I'll just use a regular sanding disc like you use for wood. And this is what uh, polish it right here. And this is, um, you know, just to make it nice and smooth. And I'll just let the temperature really wash it out. So I had to take a break, come back in the evening. Then I'll come in with the chisel work to help me kind of define more of the legs out and some details. Um, things that I have a hard time getting there with the chainsaw. Um, and then the grinder, which is it's just too much work with the grinder. So I'll just take the chisel here and just kind of do some definition. Work around in the nose here. What I do is I work on the facial features more towards the end um, because I'm thinking about how the how this side melts. And if I do this too early, then a lot of my detail work will kind of like melt away and I would have to redo it. But I'll do the body first because then as it melts it really smooths over and so it actually helps me in the end. And then what we got, I'm using some industrial version Dremel tools, these are called die grinders, with custom made bits. Um, I did not make this bit. Um, world famous ice carver in Alaska has taught himself how to do milling and make these bits. It's definitely been a game changer. Okay, bringing the chainsaw back out, do some little details under the pig. Make it look like a, like a bed of grass or hay or something like that, you know? Some type of rough texture so it makes the legs stand out a little more. Coming in here with another custom made bit that I bought. Maybe you can see this one's really nice. You know? Drawing in the nostrils. We'll come in here, we'll do the definitions on the nose, look around all the details in the eye. The eyes are probably one of the trickiest spots on any figure because you gotta match them on both sides of the face, you know, and they're gonna be around the same size and the same position, otherwise it looks kind of weird. 
you gotta be really careful when, you, <laughs> when you're when you're carving into ice like with this amount of detail you only got one shot to do it now that I'm all done I'll wash it up with some water get all that extra snow in there clean it up now it's time to move this guy so with these 809 pound pig lesson learned that I built it in pieces and so what I've done is I've put in some plastic in between all my big chunks so it's easy to cut through, won't damage my tools and then I just remove the plastic and then move these chunks away and then here you see this is why I've had such a thick base with all that grass so I can set it all together and here it is, pig all done, set up at the event 80 degrees outside beautiful pig roast day and uh, this guy's been sitting here since 3 p.m. and I think I come and picked it up around 10.30 at night and this is what it looked like. It melted uh, really well. Pretty amazing on how long this ice lasts.